Where's wait, where's the where'd the dog go? Is he oh god! Bad dog, get down! Oh god, reload! Oh god, the tank controls! I can't aim! <laughs> Where? Run! Yeah, I, what I wouldn't give for some modern controls here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into a survival horror game by Capcom. Which can only mean one thing, we are playing a Resident Evil game. This is the fifth Resident Evil game in the series, appropriately titled Resident Evil Zero. Um, we're going to continue without saving today. Uh, this game was released for the GameCube in 2002. It is a prequel to the original Resident Evil. That's why it's called Resident Evil Zero, despite being the fifth game. But I find when game series go on long enough, the numbers stop meaning anything. Um, usually the first three entries in a series, you can be sure they're going to call game title number one, game title number two, and game title number three. After that, I feel like companies just give up on numbering their games. They just go all over the place. Um, this one, though, I mean, the number makes sense. It's chronologically the first game, despite actually coming out fifth in the series. But uh, this game covers the ordeals of the Stars Bravo team the day before the original Resident Evil game. And you can see one of the core gameplay mechanics of this is going to be the fact that you have two characters that you switch back and forth between dynamically to solve puzzles. So uh, they call this the partner zapping system. And so you actually control two characters uh, simultaneously. Um, and apparently this game is simultaneously sort of, you know, beloved, but also when it did come out, it was kind of panned for having really dated controls. I mean, it still has that old school Resident Evil sort of, uh, tank control system, which is unfortunate. Um, I think eventually, um, fun fact, I haven't played the more modern Resident Evil games, but I think eventually they get away from that. And I think in like the Resident Evil game where he plays Leon, it's a much more modern control scheme, but buckle up today, we're going to be playing with the, the old-fashioned tank controls. Zero. So if you don't know what the tank controls are, it basically means your character, you, you pull left or right on the analog stick and they rotate left or right in spot and you press forward and then they run. So it's kind of like driving a tank. It's like controlling a human as if a human was a tank. Anyway, a Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City, solitary island far off the sea, Fort Rock Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known about the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? you think there would be public records on this, but apparently not. Um, we do have a narrator here, but I have, I guess, taken it upon myself to be the de facto narrator. I've usurped the narrator's power. So we're looking at Black Mountains here. This train was off to destinations unknown in 1998 uh, when there was a zombie outbreak. And people had lovely dinner conversations. They were blissfully unaware that this man, who was an accountant for Raccoon City's Umbrella Corporation, was ready to release a deadly virus. Or was he? Maybe he had nothing to do with it. And instead it was this guy. I'm doing a bad job as a narrator. You know what? When you don't know what's going on, it's hard to narrate. Um, that guy was up on a mountain summoning brain slugs because he thought it would be cool. And then the brain slugs attacked the, the train and they slugged everyone they could find. Oh, that's horrifying. That's horrifying. Um, and he was like, cool, man. I did what I came here to do. I also kind of look a bit like an angel. Maybe I'm secretly a good guy. No, that's totally like a vampire. There are vampires in Resident Evil now, apparently. So the stars team was off on regular helicopter patrol duties when they got the uh, distress call and they decided to land. And the rest is a mystery because we're ending that cutscene right there. <laughs> the door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. All right, so here we are. So here's the tank controls. I'm holding left, I'm holding right, and now I'm pressing forward. And she moves like a tank. <laughs> 
I remember getting really used to these controls back in the day because I played Resident Evil 2. That was like my game that I really enjoyed. Uh, I played a lot of Resident Evil 2. Um, and so you just, you would adapt to whatever game you were playing back in the day. And I enjoyed Resident Evil 2 quite a bit. So I did get used to the controls, but it's going to probably take me a little while to get accustomed to it again. Um, she's looking for survivors. She is finding people who have been brutally mauled and whose decomposition looks days beyond what it actually is. And this is our first zombie. Welcome to Resident Evil. Pull out your gun, sister! Shoot him in the face! Oh god, more zombies! Okay. We need tutorial here. How do I shoot? How do I shoot? Oh, there we go. Okay, we got him. Okay, aim, shoot, shoot, shoot. You know one thing that's interesting that I'm noticing? I don't know if it's gonna come across on the recording here, but this game is totally like in 480i. So I'm getting sort of scan lines as I play it, even though I'm playing it on like a modern monitor. I thought they were dead. And I actually kind of dig it. It's like, I don't know if they intentionally added these scan lines or it's an artifact of playing a, you know, a GameCube on a modern TV, but I'm getting some scan lines here. You know, people pay for these kinds of scan line effects. People intentionally put it on their retro systems nowadays. So this is, GameCube did it for free, apparently. Um, all right, so we have a mystery to solve. The mystery of the zombie train. The game actually looks pretty good, actually. The backgrounds and stuff are, like, photorealistic. Seems. Um, the characters in Resident Evil have always stood out a little bit. Parabellum. Take the handgun ammo. Yes. Uh, Resident Evil has always used these fixed camera positions, which is actually kind of clever because it allows them to upscale the backgrounds far more than if they created a 3D environment. Because, like, technically the backgrounds are just a 2D environment and they just put, uh, you know, clipping areas where the characters can't walk and then you get the simulation that you're in a 3D environment, which is kind of cool. Um, orders come from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of Arclay Mountain Laboratory. We're moving two groups with us. Um, let's see. Anything important here? Test of the product bow had to be suspended because of this investigation. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, man, there's a lot going on here. Okay, we just took a diary. I'm sure there's some important backstory in there, but, uh... Just gonna presume that uh, we're cool. Resident Evil also iconically has these door loading screens. It's simultaneously very creepy and a very clever way to like have a load screen. Um, but it does get monotonous when you're searching a series of rooms one after the other and have to watch each door open up. Um. Okay. So this. Oh, look, the herbs. The quote-unquote. Herbs, the medicinal medicine that these dudes used to heal themselves. Ah, uh, green herbs. Let me just sit here on the bunk a bit and, uh, heal. Uh, also the typewriter, which is where you typically save your game. You can save your, da your data. I don't have an ink ribbon yet, though, so we can't. Oh, there's an ink ribbon. Should we save our game? It feels like a total waste, because we haven't really accomplished anything yet. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to I'm going to save that precious ink ribbon till till a better time comes. Now this game I believe was made to be intentionally harder than the original Resident Evil. Um and it actually took inspiration from Sweet Home, which is a 1989 Famicom game, which was I think the first survival horror game uh by most records. And it uh it actually Sweet Home inspired the whole Resident Evil series, I believe. So it's kind of interesting that they kind of went back to basics in order to develop this uh, new game. Okay, that guy clearly has a key. Can we shoot this guy? No. Wait, okay, if we go over here. This is an employee's corpse. Been brutally torn apart. He's holding something. The train key. I will take it. Okay, he's... Oh, God. Oh, wait, that's not a zombie. It's my partner. Don't let the tattoo fool you. Don't be prejudiced against tattooed people. Oh wait, no, this is totally a bad guy. Lieutenant Co. 
Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around, so I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. But she won't. I kind of got a Nicolas Cage vibe out of that guy. What the hell? Edward! Are you alright? What happened? He doesn't look alright. It's worse than... We can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. The, the forest is full of zombies and monsters. Zombies and monsters? She doesn't look scared at all. Oh. God. How are these things jumping in? Is the train not moving? <laughs> How are these things jumping into a moving train? Let's kill this dog. Oh god, there's more. Where's- wait, where's the- where'd the dog go? Is he- oh god! Bad dog, get down! Out of here, zombie dog! Oh god, reload! Oh god, the tank controls! I can't aim! <laughs> Where? Oh god, run! Run! Oh, I'm injured. Okay, hold on. Aim down. There we go. Yeah, uh, what I wouldn't give for some modern controls here. Okay, we're just gonna wait out this one dog. Boom. Come get some pooch. Alright, now it's time, I think, to heal. How do we heal? Let's use our green herbs. I'm- <laughs> my health is caution. I also kind of always appreciated how Resident Evil games didn't give you, like, an actual health bar. And instead, you just sort of had to roughly interpret their, uh, you know, their, uh, heart meter or whatever. Um, it's locked. It's locked. Wait, so can I use my key? Green key. You don't need to use this. Okay. Wait, so what, what was the key for? Oh, there was, there was a room back there that had a green name that I couldn't get into. Okay, we can also run. Yeah, good old tank running in <laughs> Resident Evil. Oh man, these controls. This game also, by the way, was supposed to originally be developed for the N64. And it actually took so long to develop. And, you know, they ran into problems with the N64. There were like memory problems and stuff. So it kind of slowed them down. And eventually they just, they just shifted everything over to the GameCube by the time... Uh, they really got going to develop this game. And, uh, also... Where's this extra door? It was somewhere around here, wasn't it? I'm so confused. Do I have a map? That would be very handy. Map. Okay, so that's where I am. Can I zoom in? There we go. Okay, ah, there's a room up and to the left. See, I knew there was a room that we, we hadn't opened the door to. And I presume the key was for that. I don't want to leave this area until we found it. But yeah, it's this room right here. It's locked and can't be. The door reads conductor's office. Well, how about I use that mysterious key? You don't need to use this. Okay, let's go try and find that hunky guy with the sweet tattoo and see if we can convince him to help us. See if a zombie outbreak is enough for us to put our bygones aside and team up together. But yeah, originally developed for the N64, and by the time they actually uh, ported it to the GameCube, really nothing from the game, from the N64 version made the transition, except for the concept behind this game. Uh, which is kind of interesting to me, because it suggests that out there somewhere in Capcom's offices, there are... Um, there's a prototype of an N64 version of this game. Oh my god. Oh, get off of me! So, the camera makes it really hard to see, like, if a zombie is actually down, because you can't see zombies that are off camera. Also, I feel like the tank controls 
One thing that is bad about them is it's really hard to, like, back away from enemies. It's almost like the controls were just designed to make you more vulnerable in Resident Evil, which... I'm not opposed to the idea of that. Um, because there are many survival horror games that sort of cripple your character intentionally to make it harder for them to survive so that there's actually more, um, tension in the game. But it would be nice if there was a way to back off from zombies. What the hell are these things? <laughs> there's a bunch of, like, weird eggs, right? Oh, let me reload here. I don't know what the hell those things are. I also don't want to know. It's some kind of egg puddle formed around it. That is disgusting. Is there a door here? It's like, I honestly have to go and, like, check my map to, like, understand my surroundings. Okay, so there's nothing to do up here. Like, is it just me, or it looks like, it kind of looks like this is a door right here, right? Like, there's kind of a door handle right there? Right there? I don't know. I guess it's nothing. There's nothing but a series of sacks of weird alien eggs upstairs. Nothing to be concerned about. Just ignore it. Um, alright. Now, if I were her, here's my strategy as a cop. Hide in the corner and call for backup. Because I wasn't trained for this. I wasn't trained to- as soon as you kill your first zombie... This is in fact, as a cop, if there is a shooting, aren't you supposed to call that in right away? I've killed four or five people so far. She doesn't fully understand what zombies are, no. presumably. Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cullen killed as many as 23 people. Over. 23 people? Oh my. institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over. You know what, maybe she sends the backup for this girl. Honestly, she doesn't even look like that tough of a cop. It looks like she, this is like, you know, just her side gig and she really runs an Etsy store or something like that. You know, not to, not to make judgments about people, but she doesn't exactly look like the most uh, dangerous cop on the beat. Uh, that's totally a zombie. I'm gonna save ammo though. Screw you, zombie. See you later. Use the train key. You don't seem to need it anymore. Throw it away? Yes. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I would need it and then I'd be screwed. I think the game only lets you throw things away when you're absolutely sure you don't need it. But it's funny in the context of the game. She's like, hey, I use this key. And then it just chucks it to the side. Not gonna need this again. Hey, it's this guy. It's gonna be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. Oh, snap. All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? Alright. So we're gradually getting to a point where he will help us. I'm sure eventually we'll be working together. Blah, blah, blah. Oh wait, that actually seemed important. Crap. Okay, hold on, where's my... Look, there's even a partner option that we can't select yet. And read the obtained file. Uh, what was that? Notice to supervisors. Notice to supervisors. When closing the dining car, supervisors are asked to switch off the automatic doors after ensuring all staff have vacated the car. Main automatic door power switch is located on the roof of the fifth car. Inspection will take place. Okay. Um, use the ladder at the rear of the second floor of the dining car. All right. See, reading that note now gives me a good hint about where to actually go. So let's uh, lumber our way up these stairs. She clenches her ribs in agony. 
and the various zombie bites that have occurred there. All right, nothing looks okay. We got here. Oh yeah, that's normal. Guy is definitely either dead or he wants to be. Excuse me, sir. Sir. <gasps> Told you. Ew. Okay, now's the time you run away, girl. Oh my god, what are you doing? Why are you just standing there? You know what's funny is, like, that is a little freaky. Like, a bunch of slugs created a person. Oh, God. Oh, God! I killed it? Oh, God, yeah. I was gonna say, it's creepy that a bunch of slugs made a person. He shot them off of her? There's, like, a billion of them. You only shot two shots. How did I kill them all? Um, but I think the slugs are more deadly, like this, being, like, little tiny things. Like, 50 little slugs eating at you is way more scary than one big thing that you can shoot. Are you okay? Now, those slugs made a strategic bad decision by turning into a single organism. Man, she just got... A bunch of slugs just tried to eat her, and she's just like, Oh, I'm gonna keep doing my job. I'd be like, what the... Wait, what the hell is this? There's a little choir boy outside singing to you. Sluggo. The amazing Sluggo. Who is that guy? Uh. What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, we gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? All right. Well, Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. Oh, snap. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call. All right? All right, and off we go. Character switching. Note that the button names may differ depending on the controller type. The system enables you to control two characters. The character you're currently controlling is called the main character. The character you do not control is called the partner character. Controlling the partner character. The partner character generally moves independently. You can use a C stick to control the partner character. Selecting the partner on the status selection screen allows you to assign instructions to that character. Both characters move independently. Partner moves with the whatever. Partner attacks automatically. Partner will not attack. You can also press the start pause button to switch between the different characters. Press the X button. Status screen to switch between characters. To overcome obstacles, you'll need to evaluate circumstances. When your partner character is nearby, you can exchange items. Uh, Rebecca and combine her herb related items is weak defensively can use a mixing set to combine chemicals billy a former marine long after dudes, cannot combine herbs that's one of his abilities he cannot do something a strong in combat can push large objects all right both the main and the partner character will die if they take too much damage they always keep an eye on their condition partner is being attacked different room will call for help okay cooperating on puzzles all right, click the player two's manual. So I can control Billy now. <laughs> and off he goes. Wait, come back, Billy. Yeah, there he is. All right, and I can also control her. I'll go check over there. Okay. And... Follow me. Okay. Okay, follow me, Billy. There we go. All right, let's roll, Daddy-o. Um, I don't know how I actually take control of the partner, though. I think I just did it. Oh, but he's stuck behind her. Get out of the way, girl. 
Uh, looks like an automatic door. There's no power, so it won't open. Okay, so hold on. We have to... What is our mission, even? Um, so Rebecca's actions are... Partner. I want her to stay with me. And to attack things. That's good. Oh, and... Rebecca needs to use some herbs because she's on the brink of death. All right, now she's just not feeling so good. Um, all right, checking our map. So we are at this far end. So presume, so we're supposed to figure out what's going on with the train. So let's run back to the, uh, the train door at the front of the train and let's just take a look at what's going on up there and then we'll come back to this automatic door here. Yeah, Cause I'm not quite sure which direction I'm supposed to be going. Oh, there's a zombie I let live. And then we stay back. Kill these guys. Oh, aim. There we go. All right, then we run. Oh God, no. I'm trying to conserve ammo by running, running away from these guys. I shot him in the knees. Run, go. I don't know if that did something. I don't know if we could, uh, glitch out the attack that was happening on Rebecca or not. Oh, she's not with us. Okay. Oh, she just died! <laughs> Rebecca! No! You are dead. Wait, we didn't save once. We didn't save once. Did we just get booted to the main screen? Oh, you son of a bitch! Capcom! Continue without saving. Oh my god. Alright. We're gonna do this one again. Like there's not even a there's not even an auto save, I'm sure. I went to load game, what does that even do? I mean there's there's nothing. We did there, there's nothing. Alright, new game, easy. Let me catch us up to where we were, and then we'll carry on. You know it's funny, I was like, hey, this time I'll save, but I just remembered I don't have a memory card handy. So I guess I'm not. I guess we're just Playing this one without a safety net, guys. The reason I don't have a memory card handy, by the way, if you don't know, is I moved recently and a bunch of my stuff is all packed away, so... I unpacked, uh, you know, my, my Wii so we could check this out here today, but, uh... Other than that, most of my peripherals and stuff are... Hidden away. Alright, we have mostly recovered to, uh... <laughs> where we were. I think also... Well, if I can switch to the girl here. Yeah, she's in decent health. Health. I have a first aid spray this time. I think just because I'm playing it on easy. It's uh, being a little more generous with the items. But since we're up here, was there anything over here to explore? There is a ladder. There's a ladder here. Seems to lead us up to the roof. Let's try this this time. Maybe we can open these automatic doors. Try and go forward, not backwards. Alright, here we are. Oh man, this is scary. I feel like I'm just gonna fall into the the through the ceiling here. There's something. Keep going. Wait, can I keep going? Oh, there we go. Okay, there's. An electrical thing right here. What's going on with this? The power cable has been disconnected. Reconnect the cable? Sure. I like how she just does it with her bare hands. You're definitely not supposed to do electrical work that way. Um. Oh god, she's getting eaten by the slugs again! Two sluggings in one night? Where's my partner, man? She just slug bait. The slugs like her, I'll tell you that. Now let's get these herbs. And use them to heal up. In fact, we're gonna do an old... Resident Evil trick, which is called combining herbs. Boom, now we have mixed herbs. Um... I guess let's... Do we want this guy to go in the pit? Maybe not, actually. 
Because maybe if she can repair things, that's all we need. Oh, look, there's health sprays and stuff over there, too. Service lift to stop on the first floor. Call the service lift. Yes. What is this doing? Huh. Place item here. I guess I can, like, send stuff to uh, my friend. What's his face? Nicholas Cage. I actually don't remember the actor's name. The train key. Hey, another train key. Good thing, because we needed that. Can I carry this item now? Oh, well, you know what? Uh, use it. Why not? Yeah, now I'm fine. All right, there's something stuck in the keyhole. It's preventing the doorknob from turning. Probably get it out if you had something sharp. Like what? What are you implying I need? This roof is caved in, now lies in pieces on the floor. Looks like it was destroyed by a powerful force from outside. Okay, so we need something sharp. Maybe the other guy has something sharp. I don't know. What's in his inventory? Like a knife? Okay, I got it. So this guy's got to go in here. Alright, dude. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Or maybe... Oh, I get it. I have to put the knife in the... The dumb waiter for her. Okay, hold on. So this thing. See, the problem is I don't know where this goes. Place an item in here. Yes. We're gonna place a test item in. I'm going to put the train key in. Why not? And off it goes. Press the button. Yes. Okay, now. Wherever he is. So I guess he needs to get back inside. And then he has to go find that dumbwaiter and get the key. And then give her his knife, I'm guessing. Because, look, he's not, he does not want to go in there. You can't reach it from up here. Okay. Let's go back inside. Where the rain is not pummeling us from all directions. There you go. Man, he walks so slow. I get a gameplay, like, like sort of story-wise, he's trying to be cautious, but gameplay-wise, it's just a little, uh, you know, kind of wasting my time. All right, in we go, yes, down the ladder. And then we gotta find that dumbwaiter thing, wherever it was. Um, they said it was on the first floor, but what is this door? Locked from the other side. Alright. I wonder if that's where the girl is right now, actually. Come to think of it. I think the waiter's gonna be, like, right around the corner here. My prediction. Oh! Hour's back on. Oh, hello! Okay, we're in the... The lower level of the kitchen. This is good. Locked from the other side. We just gotta find the dumbwaiter thingy. Industrial size refrigerator. There's an access panel here. You need some kind of tool to open it. Hints, hints, hints. Everywhere there's hints. Um, oh! That looks like the panel thingy. Oh yeah, alright. There's an item here. I will take the item. I will take her key. Um, I probably have to send her the key back to be honest though. Um, now I want to place an item here. Yes. I want that knife. What? The item is too large. Huh. Okay. Well, we need to find something else sharp for her. And or now I have a key. So come on. There's got to be something sharp around here. It's a kitchen for God's sake. Various types of food, doesn't seem to be anything of use. How about a fork? Doesn't seem to be anything of use. Nothing, 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 nothing. Lock from the other side. Can I give her like a shard of glass? Like she just needs something sharp. Nothing of use. 
Uh, <laughs> okay, that's useless to me. What do I do here? Puzzle number one, and... I mean, obvious the, the knife. The knife which is too big to fit in that, like, uh... You know, waiter thing. That seems like the most obvious sharp thing to send her. I've got a train key, though. Let's see if there's something else I could potentially unlock. Jerk. You go down. Get out of here, jerk. Yeah, you too. Get out of here. See, they limit your line of sight. Um, making it hard to tell if there's a zombie in front of you, because, like, the camera is, like, right, you know, here where it is. And now it just switched. I mean, the control camera is genius in the fact that they can create tension in scenes, but from a from a character's gameplay perspective, sometimes it's a little bit annoying. You're like, why can't he just look forward? What can't he see? Yeah, there's something in here. Through the window, you see a broken ladder. No use right now. Hint for later. There's a zombie here. I hear somebody walking. He's just taking a long time. Oh, zombie. Come on, man. Where are you? The second I walk towards the camera, he's gonna bite me, because he's, like, right there, I bet. There he is. Alright, down you go. Nobody else? Anybody else wants some? Nobody wants some. Okay, we are moving on. I gotta try that train key on the, uh conductor or whatever see if it opens up the the main door um, nobody nobody okay so there was this door use the train key you don't seem to need it anymore throw it away i guess you guys are awfully sure when you don't need a key anymore so i'll just trust you all right Inductor area. Oh, look at this. The map of the train. Um, seems to be... That's the first floor. They go up to the second floor. Uh, uh, change level? Oh, there we go. That's where she's stuck. Right now. Where I am. There's like one other level up there we haven't explored. Okay, you took the train map. Hey, there's like a blinking light. What does this do? There's a switch here. Flip it? Yes. Why not? Oh! Secret Nazi ladders. Hidden in the train. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I guarantee it. Those ladders were used for Nazi experimentations. Anything else in here? Closet. Has traveled to the next world. Did you see that? Take the briefcase. Hold on a second in there. Oh. There's a poster that said travel to the next world. That's like very, um, you know, I don't know. It's, it's telling. It's like this guy was in on the fact that there were zombies, maybe. The key card for the driver's compartment is in my bag, as always, but I need the other guy's key, too, to open the damn thing. It looks like I've lost it somewhere. But it's a normal key. Who would turn it in? This is different. It, I'll look for it, too. If you happen to find it, please hand it in. Thanks in advance. Why would he leave that note on the floor of his office? Nobody's going to read that. Uh, train operations are scattered about. Okay. So, in my bag, then, the briefcase, uh, examine. Oh, look, here's a beautiful briefcase. We can open it. Appears to be locked. There are two holes that look as if they fit into some kind of round object. You know what? Use your knife that's so big it doesn't fit into, like, a little item elevator and jam it into this guy's stupid briefcase and cut the thing open, man. What kind of a criminal are you? He's like, well, it's a fine mahogany leather briefcase. I don't want to damage that. I don't want to be out of the one on the hook when this guy's, you know, beautiful briefcase gets butchered. 
Um, oh, hello. Wait, where are we? Hard because I can't look around. Guess I gotta go this. Keeping my eye out for sharp objects of some kind. Or monsters. Gotta keep your eye out for that too. Okay. All is well, I guess. Uh, we're gonna get jumped by a monster, aren't we? All right. The angles I've I've forgotten because I haven't played Resident Evil in so long. But the angles really do make the game sort of cinematic. You know, like. Oh God. Hey, wait. There's something sharp in there. Hold on. Hello. That is an ice pick. So, oh crap, I didn't mean to switch to her. What I need... What is the, What do the red herbs do? I forget. Um, use, hold on. This combined with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. Just waste these herbs and pick up the... Uh, Gotta save our other character. And we'll leave these herbs on the ground. In case we need them. And I hear... Gross, sluggy alien eggs. Slithering around on the ground. Um, okay, we do need bullets. We'll take that. I wish the inventories were a little bigger because I'm finding stuff. I just have no room for anything. Like, I can't carry that. What is that? It looked cool. Can't carry it. What is this? You need two blocks to carry this item. This is... Uh, I want a shotgun. Look, there's health here. Health, shotguns. All this stuff. I can't carry anything. My guy's so feeble. Can't carry that right now. Okay, you know what? I have an idea. Oops, didn't mean to switch characters again. We can't save anyway right now. So... Oh, we don't even have anything to save. Don't worry. Um, okay, let's just leave this lying on the ground. Leave the herbs, yes. Let's leave this. And let's leave that. Cannot leave it here. Okay, well, whatever. Now, lying on the ground is a pistol, herbs. We're going to take this shotgun, the, or the hunting gun. Yes, indeed. We're going to go ahead and grab ammo for the hunting gun. What? You cannot carry this item now. Huh. Okay. Fine. Does this just take handgun bullets? Hold on. We got to figure this out. Because if we... If we have no bullets, we're going to be screwed. Um, crap. I keep changing characters. I don't mean to. Um, okay, here's my gun. I know. Whip. There we go. All right, we have equipped the gun. So now, boom. And if we go into our inventory. Can we reload this baby? Fine. Okay, no, we can't. So we want to leave this. Leave the handgun ammo. This room is loaded with stuff, man. Shotgun ammo, yes. And... Oops. Combine. That. Right, we don't have a ton of shots, but I think these things one-shot zombies. So... Hopefully we're okay. I guess if we have to come back, we'll just make a beeline for this room. Look at all this... The riches were just leaving on the ground because this guy doesn't understand the idea of pockets. He's like, well, I have two hands, so six items is the max I go. Um, all right, that was a that was a very cool room, though. We got some sweet stuff. Where is it on the map? Just so I know. Okay, so if we ever do have to come back, it's that sweet room right there is where we want to go. Cool. All right, let's go, uh, let's go save the girl with this, uh, ice pick that I found. And then we will see where this game is going.
Sort of a slower paced zombie game. Half about killing zombies, half about atmosphere, and half about puzzles. And really, it's a third of all those things, because it's impossible to be half of each. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's a crab monster! Oh my god, slugs and crabs. This is Resident Evil Aquatic. Oh no, it's a giant scorpion. It's good because we are low on ammo. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, they hit him like a ragdoll. Okay, hold on. This sucks because I gave away all my handgun ammo. Oh god, reload. Oh god, shoot it. Oh, we shot it in the brain. Its brains are revealed. Reload. Okay, we shot it again. Did we kill it? Nope. No, oh, run! You can't even move fast enough. Okay, hold on. We need to check our health. Did I bring any health items? I did not. Oh, but I'm also fine and fine. So that's weird. Okay. Get out of the attack zone. Swing and a miss, big boy. Oh, God, run! <laughs> God. We might have to knife this thing if we run out of ammo. Oh, reload! Shoot it! Oh god, am I- I'm out of ammo, aren't I? Son of a bitch. Why? Why did I- Alright, let's knife this thing to death. We get it? Die, you thing! I can't even hit the thing. I think it died. Died off camera. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going back for my pistol. <laughs> that was a colossal waste of the the shotgun. At least my guy took virtually no damage in that fight, despite being tossed up against the wall like a rag doll. And all right, he's coming back to this room reluctantly, like son of a bitch. Just got an awesome new hunting rifle. Wasted all the bullets on a giant scorpion. Isn't that always the way? I leave this stupid thing, yes. Get out of my inventory, damn it. Also, how's my health? I'm literally fine, so I guess I'm not gonna take any health. But, um... You mean the bullets? Yes. Here's my gun. Left it over here, just on the ground. Alright, give me your gun. Take the gun, yes. And I guess I will take like the first aid spray just in case. Yep. And I should um should equip my gun. Probably better to have a gun than a uh knife. Painting depicts blah blah blah. Let me out of the room. It's weird that you need to have extra item slots for the shotgun when you're just going to equip it. Like, I could see if you were keeping it in your inventory, that's one thing. Uh, another thing is, it does feel rather limiting to only have the couple of items that you're... Like, six items is nothing. When you consider, like, one or two puzzle items takes up one or two slots. So let's say two slots for puzzles. You have ammo, that's one. Then you have health... Like, look, I can't even carry that item right now. So now I have to drop something else. This is really restrictive. My god. Uh, let's just use this, I guess. Why not? So now I have three puzzle items. Half my inventory is with puzzle items. Then I have one for a weapon, one for ammo, and one for a melee weapon. I don't have any room for health. I don't have any room for save stuff. Like, you got, you got no room for nothing in this game. It's crazy. I can't remember if the other Resident Evils were this restrictive with the inventory. I don't ever remember running into this problem, but maybe it was there and I'm just forgetting. It has been like <laughs> a decade or two since I played Resident Evil 2. Depre as depressing as, as that is to say. Time she does a fly, guys. Right, let's, um, what was that thing I picked up anyway? Didn't even really pay attention to it. Panel opener. Huh. All right, maybe that'll come in handy later. Go and rescue Lady McCop. 
and see what opens up after we get her out. I don't even know why I'm going back to rescue her. It's not like she has some important item that I need, but I guess I feel a bit of sen a, a small sense of obligation to actually rescue her. wonder if I can actually open this. I think it's beeping, too. Do you guys hear that? I don't want to go up the stairs yet until I get the girl, but something is definitely beeping. All right, we're going to rescue her. And then we're going to go investigate the beeping and see if we can figure out maybe the next step. But this train is quiet, man. Once you kill all the zombies, it gets eerily quiet. Kind of miss the zombies, to be honest. Um, all right, in here. Go over here. Oh, God, don't go out that way. I feel like my guy's drunk. He's, like, semi-hard to control. Place an item in here? Yes, I will. You know, that knife was too big, but how about an ice pick? There you go. And press the button, yes. Right okay, now we get out of this. Switch to her. And we check this little box here. Oh, look at this! An ice pick! There's an item here, take it. All right. Oh, I think I didn't take the ice pick. Wait. Yeah, you have to click yes to take it. And then you come in here and you have to click yes to use it. They ask you twice. They're like, you really want to be sure before you take anything out of that little uh, dumbwaiter. You don't want to take anything out that uh, you're not 100% sure about. It's preventing the door now from turning. You could probably get it out if you had something sharp. Didn't I just get something sharp? Uh, you. There we go. Alright, the doorknob is unstuck now. And out we go. All of that to rescue her. And, oh, there's, a, there's literally a guy on fire here. Nick, you're not doing your job killing these zombies. This one was just fully on fire. Oh, there's another one up here. There's two of them. They're both on fire, dude. There we go. Damn it, Nick, or whatever your name is. Stop leaving zombies that are on fire walking around. All right, let's go uh, find this this dude. So now I'm at a loss of where to go. We have that panel thingy. And my guess is that... Does, oh, maybe it opens this, because now we're over here. So you got to think like a game developer, guys. Like, we had to come all the way back over here to save her. They gave us an item. Maybe that item would be for this. That's right over here. This thing here. There's an access panel. You need some kind of tool. Guess what? I found a random tool. How about we use this? Ah, thinking like a dev. They brought you here for a reason. Like a dev in the 2000s. In the 90s and 80s, they would have made you wander all over the place. In the 90s and 80s, adventure video games were designed thusly. You found a piece of bubblegum, and you would use that to build a kite. And there was no hints given that that was, you know, the, the solution. Oh, get out of here, dogs. Hey, there's gasoline. We light the gas on fire? Oh, God. It's so hard to aim. All right, dog. There you go. Still alive, eh? Dead yet? All right, thank you, dog. We need the gasoline for anything? Take the gas tank. Why not? I'm going to start getting uh, Carol here, or whatever her name is, to carry items to. Oh, God, Carol! There's zombies! Nick, you're not doing your job, dude! You left a zombie on ice in here, man. Clear the corners, rookie! Jesus. All right, well, we got a couple of scares in there. Um, but yeah, adventure games in the 90s were like so unclear. I remember loving like the Sierra adventure games like Space Quest, Leisure Suit Larry. Um, I never really played King's Quest, but uh, I even played a little bit of Police Quest, but mostly it was Space Quest and 
Leisure Suit Larry. And I love those games, but they were cryptic as anything. And like nothing ever made sense. It was never predictable about what you needed to do what. Um, hey, there's an ammo box for a shotgun. Would be nice if we had one of those, eh, buddy? I also have 107 bullets. Damn. Fine with that. All right. Um. Let's go. Okay. You come with me, buddy. You stick with me. Okay, let's see. I have no idea where we're going or what we're trying to accomplish, but I want to get a little bit further in this game. I don't know how much further we're going to get, honestly, but we should try and get a little bit further. In fact, I see like a shotgun or something over there. Oh, let's guess. Powering draw. Oh, it, it unlocked like the gun. Hold on a second. What is that? It's uh, a hook shot. Pull the lever and release the lock. Oh, I see. So like this guy pulls the lever and then you switch to her to grab it. That's the puzzle. <laughs> okay, so he pulls it. And then you switch to her. And you take it. I need two blocks to carry this item. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh god, just leave these stupid things. Why not? Okay, and then she takes it. Yeah, look at that sweet gun. We're gonna harpoon some zombies. Hookshot. It looks like Batman's grapple gun. Uh, the hookshot operator's manual. This device should only be used when inspecting difficult when inspecting difficult to access car roofs or when connecting special trains return to its proper location after use. Uh, where to use? There's a ladder outside of a small window, but the by the first floor section of the door and the third floor carriage. Fire the device so that it hooks onto the higher of the ladder. Using the winch to climb after it is secure. Oh, the grappling hook can only lift one person at a time. Be aware the unit may be damaged if lifting more than 80 kilograms. So, hint, hint. The girl can climb, the guy cannot. Um, now what? Okay, so... Now we leave. There's a hand-operated brake here. You'll need a magnetic card to operate it. You know, I, I meant, let's get out of here. There we go. Um, so there was that one train window that had like a... A ladder outside and we didn't know how to access it. I'm pretty sure now we access it this way. Oh, it's on the ground over here. Also, why is that guy not following us? What the hell is that? Yeah, where's the other guy? You get in here too, buddy. I wonder if I was on a different screen and I told him to follow if he would catch up. Uh, it would be something to try, actually. Like, how good is the AI here? Okay. Whatever this is, he's gonna take it. The golden ring. Sure. He's finding treasure now. Let's regroup. Roger. All right. Follow me, lady. Um, can we go in here? Door is. What did it say? The door is blocked. Or is now unblocked. Oh, this is just going to be a shortcut back into the kitchen. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... We've been through all this, all these rooms. So I guess the thing about Resident Evil is there's a lot of backtracking in the different rooms, but you, like, slowly clear out zones. We're like, okay, there's nothing interesting left in this area. There's nothing interesting left in this area. So I know precisely where we're going next. It's one of the last interactive items or areas that we've seen in the level where we, um... You know, haven't done something yet. So yeah, uh, switch to her. And we're gonna go. Uh, let's equip the, th the the thingy. This uh, awesome grapple gun, Batman's grapple gun. Uh, use. Oh, here she goes. We're gonna see her fire it. No, we don't even get to see it. We just hear like a sound effect, and then now she's climbing a uh, a cable. All right, well, it worked. 
My plan worked. Okay, walk forward, if you will. Did we jump into this pit here? You think? It looks like there is a passenger cabin below the crack. Jump down through the crack. Uh, no. I think that's the hallway upstairs. That's probably the exit of where we need to go. Let's keep going a little further. Oh, wait, never mind. We can't. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, jump down, yes. There we go. And zombies just enjoying the train ride. He's like, ah, zombie-like train ride at night. Train ride. Remind zombie of good old days. I bet zombie's dead. Hey, zombie! I said be dead. Thank you. Listen when somebody talks to you, zombie. You cannot carry this item now. Alright, well, whatever. I don't want a melee weapon anyway for her. We, the inventory slots are too precious. Be wasting on inventory. Uh, what is that? A ring? Hmm. Okay, let's just use this. Why not? Let's take this. I feel like maybe putting that ring that we found in the jewelry box is a thing we could do. And we will. Oh, I see. How the hell are we gonna get through this? Oh god, they're hatching! Why didn't we burn this area with fire? This is disgusting. Oh my god. Oh, this is like turning my stomach to watch this stuff. Uh, did I just... What did I do? Oh, I guess the guy's gonna have to come save her now. He's just like hanging out all cool. Hand in his pocket. All right, let's head upstairs and fight whatever vicious, crazy monster is out there. Um, oh, hello. Ew. At least they're ignoring me. You can kill them, though. Good waste of ammo. Get off of me, you, you weird... Oh, God. Do you have to kill these things? Hold on a sec. We're wasting precious ammo. Fine, and... Hey, he has a lighter? Huh. Uh, equip my knife. Alright, let's just slice and dice these little, uh, worms. Down you go! Get off of me! Disgusting slimoids. I don't remember these things from any of the Resident Evil games or movies, so I don't know. I don't know what the lore is on this slime stuff. Anyone else want some? There you go. Oh my god, these things are so annoying. <laughs> I can't believe this is an enemy you have to kill in this game. This is- this is just tedious. Seriously, you would waste so much ammo if you were shooting all these things. Oh look, now my camera angle changed to a worse one. Just get out of here. This is where, um... The girl is, I think, maybe? Oh yeah, hello! I rescued you. Can you consider yourself rescued? There's a bunch of worms outside though, so... Brace yourself. Really gross. I'm gonna try calling her from this screen here and see if she actually comes. Uh, the call her button does absolutely nothing. Alright. Come on! Keep up. <laughs> so, <laughs> atmospheric, but slow. Uh, alright. Stick with me. Oh wait, we have the ring thing. What would happen if we go in here? Okay, let's go to Billy. Let's have Billy drop the gasoline. Leave it. Now, with our partner, she is going to exchange that to Billy. Now, Billy is going to... Oh, God. Get over here. Billy is going to combine this with that. It didn't work! Okay. Well, whatever then. And I guess she'll take the gasoline. Yes. Alright, let's go, Billy. 
There's some herbs, which neither of us can carry. Wait, is this the room where we left all the sweet stuff? I think we're in the upper hallway where everything... All the worms and stuff cleared out of. Oh yeah, it's where the shotgun and stuff is. I mean, not that we have inventory space to carry any of this stuff. But it's here. So that's something. And... I guess we'll keep going this way. Wait, let's check our map. What do we got going on? <laughs> Partner. Um... Yeah, we've kind of explored all this. It's on the first floor. Huh, we've kind of explored everything. To be honest. The only thing left... Really... Is like the front... The very front of the train. Oops. Like, uh... Over here. It's the only place we haven't been. Alright, well... See if we can go there now. Maybe we'll encounter a boss along the way that will, um, you know, want to fight us or whatever and give us the item that we need to get into the final part of the train here. But we're close. We are close. Oh, this is where I fought the giant uh, scorpion. Okay. Uh, go down this thing. I'm down the ladder. I'm trying to think of, like, what else we might be able to do with the, the items that we got. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, thinking like a game developer, opening up the slug hallway, let our two characters catch up, and we exited right here at the end, so presumably we now might be able to... Oh. Hello. I think uh, good old Billy Boy here has got a card. He's going to come over here. And he's going to use... Damn it. Uh, examine? How do you open? Oh, a round object. Boom. We're geniuses. We're genius eye. Um, okay. Oh, we need another gold, gold ring. Oh, she's got one. Oh, hello. Or she actually gave it to me, but... Uh, we're gonna open this. Looks like a case for holding jewelry. Open, yes. Give me that second ring. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to... Nope to combine this wow i thought we were going to be like just sort of end <laughs> because we couldn't figure it out but wow we just solved the puzzle repace has been unlocked open yeah look at this <laughs> and the only thing inside is one key you couldn't have just slid your hand down the side and gotten that out um all right so now we can use this beep Access granted. Doors unlocked. Throw it away? Yeah, let's just toss this guy's ID card in the pool of blood next to his dead, tattered corpse this in the corner Delta there. Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Who the hell are these guys? This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. Oh man. Where are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? Oh, they're gonna get... They're getting slugged. Oh god. <laughs> Gross, man. Ugh, that is the disgusting way to go. It's like uh, a more horrific getting slimed like Peter Venkman in Ghostbusters. They got they got slimed for good. Train is picking up speed. All right, let's just get in here, man. 
fight whoever we need to fight. So was that guy Adam Westler? Is that a name that is Resident Evil relevant? I'm pretty sure that guy is in later Resident Evil, the guy with the sunglasses. And I'm pretty sure the mist coming out of the vents behind him was to indicate that they were getting gassed with the T-Virus too. Although I don't know if he's immune or something, I don't know. I gotta stop this thing! Hey, we made it to the conductor area. Brake operation manual. Use the brake control system. I like how he has time to pause and read the manual here. The following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. Step one, activate the controls. Brake controls are located in the following locations. The first car driver's compartment. The rear deck of the fifth car to activate the system. You must insert magnetic card into the device in the fifth car. This will supply our... Oh, that was what we encountered way back when. Uh, two. Enter the code for the rear deck unit to release the lock. After this, the driver's compartment code can be input. Step three. Enter the driver's compartment code. Enter the code to the driver's compartment unit to remove the lock. Upon completion of these three steps, everything will be fine. Okay, what, wait. What are the codes? Who will stay behind? Uh, Rebecca will. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. Yeah. Also, I love you. Oh, God, we're running out of time. Okay, so, first of all, we need the magnetic card. Imagine we ran to the back of the train without that. They give you this timer so that you're like, oh, shit, and you just start running to the back of the train, but they're trying to screw you over, man. If you did not have that card, you'd be dead. Okay, so we're just taking a bit of time to collect the gear that we need. Now we're going to go. We're going to make our dramatic run to the back. I don't know what the codes that I'm supposed to enter are, but I'll try and make sure that I enter them correctly. Oh, well, those guys are coming back to life, eh? Well, screw you. <laughs> I don't have time to kill you twice, guys. You're gonna have to be zombies for a while. Enjoy the lifestyle. Enjoy oh, that guy's corpse is gone too. That means he's alive. Where are you, buddy? I hear ya. Don't think I'm not wise to you. I hear ya. I've played enough Resident Evil games to know that when you see a corpse just lying there, at some point it's coming back to life. Also, keep an eye out for corpses that seem to have mysteriously moved, because that means they're wandering around and they want to eat you. Holy crap, where'd all you guys come from? Oh god. Look at them all. Oh god, reload, Billy! Reload! Okay, let's run for it. <laughs> I'd love to stay here and kill you all with, uh... Precision shots to the head, but oh, I forgot you can't headshot guys, can't you? Well, these are stars, guys. Even all right, out of the way, dude. Out of the way. I don't even really care if I kill the zombies because honestly, they're just impeding my progress at this point. They're roadblocks thrown up to distract me, and I'm not gonna let them have the satisfaction. Now, let's check our map here. I guess I am just a straight shot right to the back now. There's gonna be dogs in here, aren't there? I swear there's gonna be dogs. Freight car. I'm waiting for it. Doggos? Oh no, there's nothing. There's just literally straight up nothing. All right, well, we made it to the back of the train pretty easily. No crazy monsters waiting for us back here? Nope, nothing. Okay, let's throw our key card in here. Ugh, don't make me do it. I like how it's like, you need a magnetic key card, and it wants me to go select it. Like it's this big confusing puzzle. I'm gonna take a moment to reload the game since you made me do this. But you don't need to do this right now. Oh, I guess Rebecca does hers first. Try that again later. Wait, what? Use. We don't need to use this right now. Wait, what? 
Now's not the time. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, is this supposed to be her card that she uses? Okay, hold on. I think we have to run all the way back to the front. I think we screwed up. This is why it's good to have a lot of time. Well, it's good to have a lot of time. I think we mostly cleared the way, too. There might be, like, one or two lingering zombies. We'll ice those guys. Along the way. But was I supposed to, like, swipe the magnetic thing before... I even left? I think I was. Wow. I made such a big deal about taking my time before leaving the conductor's train, and now I have to, like, run all the way back. Um, there's the stars guy. Boom, boom. All right, down he goes. Sorry, buddy. Sucks to be you. I do like that it does remember that you've killed zombies and it doesn't, like, respawn them and stuff. Oh, there's one here. All right, he's dead. <laughs> Just listen for his tat. He's like, oh, collapses. I wonder what it's like to be a zombie. I guess you probably don't have any consciousness or experience or anything like that, so... Oh, God. Ah, uh, one got me! Oh, well, it's not... not too bad that we ran across the whole train twice and we only got bitten once. But we are down to a cool minute here. We have to stop dicking around and actually figure out how to stop this train. I think the train's gonna crash. Oh. I forgot about these guys. We never did kill them, did we? Oh, God. Stupid tank controls, I'm all over the place. Oh, God, get off of me! Okay, we're down to less than a minute. This is actually pretty bad. Okay, but the way is clear. <laughs> She's gonna be like, what? what are you doing back here? You're supposed to be at the back of the train. It'll be like, funny story, I forgot to swipe the card before I left. Um, so, where do we do this? Oh my god, am I supposed to actually be at the back of the train? Okay, take the handgun ammo. Sorry, I didn't know! <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. Oh my god. Okay, we have 35 seconds to get to the back of the train. Oh no, 32, 33! This might be... You know what? Whether we stop the train or not, I was kind of planning to wrap things up after this, but if we go down in a blaze of glory, because we couldn't stop the train in time, I guess that will be an appropriate ending to our little video here, but oh my god. I don't think a video of mine has ever ended on such a, such a tense note. I'm just building the tension for you guys. Want this to be a video to remember. 20 seconds left, 19, 18. Oh my god, we're not gonna make it. There's no way. There's no way. I don't even have enough time to enter the codes, even if I, uh, make it to the back of the train. 17, 16, 15, 14. Oh, that guy's still not dead. One of the zombies is getting up. Well, good thing we ran past him, because we do not have time to fight that guy. We're literally out of time. Okay, come on, come on. Ten. Nine. <laughs> oh, God, this sucks. I screwed up so bad. I don't know why I ran back to the front of the train. Eight. Seven. Oh, my God. This is just like in the movies. It's gonna be like three, two, one, and then I'm gonna maybe stop the train? Or probably not. Okay, oh, God. And the tank controls make it so much harder. Okay. There's a hand operated. You'll need a magnetic card to operate it. One second left. Use it! Did I do it? Oh, he went to use it and we died! Alright, well, I mean, we don't have any save games to go back to, so we're definitely not going any further in this game. Alright, I don't know why the first time I was at the back of the train, I went to use the train. You guys saw me. I, I'll have to go back and rewatch the video. Did I even do it right? I thought that I selected use the the card and it said now's not the right time or like didn't let me use it or something i don't know anyway a train out of control full of zombies we failed to stop it and we all got killed pro tip have a memory card if you're going to play this game and actually save your game
Uh, Resident Evil Zero, here's one of the games of the book, a thousand one video games you must play before you die. I think if you like Resident Evil games, um, it totally harkened back to the classic ones for me. Uh, you know, as I said, I haven't played any of the modern ones with Leon or anything, and I simultaneously appreciate that they totally changed the scope and feel, um, of the games to make them more action-oriented and stuff. But at the same time, I do remember when those games came out, I kind of thought, those aren't really Resident Evil. Like, Resident Evil's more like this, like, awkward controls and puzzle solving, and, like, occasional, occasional action bits, but the action bits are not the focus of the game. Um, so, I don't know, I guess maybe, you know, the old me would have said that uh, this is more Resident Evil than maybe some of the more, other more modern ones. But I don't know. Uh, you know, I haven't played the modern ones. I, I don't want to render judgment before I give them a shot. Uh, they might be quite fun, actually. But if you're a fan of the classic Resident Evils, you know, you like Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, I could 100% see this one, uh, you know, being entertaining and enjoyable for you. Definitely, it's, it has that right mix of the puzzles are there, you have to think a little bit, but they're not so vexing that you're never going to get it. And you are in a relatively limited environment, so there's only a couple of things you can try before you run out of things to try. So you'll probably solve most of the puzzles. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think of this one? Resident Evil Zero. Is it a game that you played back in the day? Did you, uh, when you played it back in the day, did you enjoy the fact that there were two characters? Did you uh, find the control scheme a little dated? Did you wish it was more modernized? Or did you really enjoy the throwback to the original Resident Evil uh, format? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, other than that, uh, I hope you guys had fun today. I hope today was interesting and entertaining, despite my many failures. Okay. Was well, over to like the video and all that stuff. And other than that, I will catch you in the next one. So until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves. Don't get eaten by any brain-sucking parasitic slug creatures. And otherwise, peace. You're with Star.